a little while ago I recorded a video uh, that with the title there is an alien op afoot or an alien op is afoot and I spoke of how there is a more concerted effort right now in the mainstream amongst mainstream media types to get this uh, notion of uh, aliens and not only aliens but alien like scary aliens and alien threat to get this this whole notion uh, seeded out there into the public consciousness and for years and years and years you know it had just sort of been oh well people who talk about aliens are kooky and crazy and and uh, so forth sort of but then there was also the, the, the there was that you know remember the beast, the beast that is Leviathan, is uh, that is the state that is the the uh, corporate state that is the deep state that is whatever the you know the the, the beast uh, that that deems itself uh, and and those who populate it who populate this this uh, beast which which can be moved around in its various uh, in various parts of its body you know like a like a giant robot. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure about my metaphors this morning, but anyway, the the be, this um, this beast that is the deep state. Well, let's just stick with that that uh, phrase phraseology. Um, it's it's got a right hand and a left hand, like I've said before. It and the right hand doesn't always know what the left hand is doing, or it, it doesn't know. Uh, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And vice versa. So, uh, on the one hand, the beast that is the state, that is state authority, um, that is uh, proper authority, uh, so-called, it, it uh, engages in, you know, supposedly uh, protecting the innocent, supposedly uh, doing what it can to ensure that justice prevails. And then on the other hand, with the left hand, the left-hand path, uh, as they call it, um, left meaning sinister, with the left hand of the beast, of the, uh, the left hand of the beast is engaged in, actively engaged in uh, doing these various uh, depraved uh, vices um, that the right hand is supposedly be all about, um, you know, clamping down on and and uh, protecting the victims of, <clears throat> and so forth. So, all that is to say, with regard to this alien op, you know, on the one hand, you have the, the respectable types uh, uh, who represent the state saying things like, oh, these, these uh, people who believe in aliens, they're just crazy, they're just nuts. You know, uh, Roswell was just a, a weather balloon, and by the way, I'm not claiming to know anything about Roswell, or really to know much about alien stuff, because I'm not really that much of an alien kind of person. <clears throat> but I do feel the need to talk about it right now, based on what's going on right now. So, so for years and years, the respectable side, the so-called respectable side of Leviathan, the deep state, was saying, um, you know, aliens aren't real. And people who uh, who believe in aliens, people who say they've seen aliens, people who claim to have been abducted by aliens, uh, they're just uh, kooky people who can be made fun of and dismissed. Now, all of a sudden, in, in the last few months, you see respectable uh, venues, you know, like uh, mo most... Uh, most recently, it was 60 Minutes. 60 Minutes ran a piece that, uh, uh, um, in which they, they basically said, uh, there are uh, UFOs out there. There are, there are, there have been this, uh, there have been observable phenomenon out there. Nobody knows what they are, uh, and they very, very well might be alien, uh, you know, extraterrestrial. Uh, crafts, and then they showed they had an, an actual interview with a couple of um, Air Force pilots 
who talked about their experiences seeing one of these crafts, seeing it do all these kinds of maneuvers that there was no way, that went way beyond any human technology, and uh, and so forth. Um, this is on 60 Minutes, right? This is not on uh, the Discovery Channel. This is not one of those, ooh, crazy, crazy ideas, uh, you know, but who knows, they could be true conspiracy, you know, the kind of, um, the kind of channels and, and venues that kind of sell to that, that kind of crowd. This is 60 Minutes. This is CBS. This is, you know, the, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say that they have prestige because I don't believe that they do, but this is the, you know, the, the media that is considered respectable. This is, I don't respect them, but, but they're considered respectable. And, uh, people who, <laughs> people who are dumb <laughs> or people who just don't think, don't think a lot, um, or who don't, don't reflect a lot or don't notice a lot, just tend to think, oh, 60 minutes, that's, that's, uh, you know, that, that's something I can trust. They, they, this, they're credible. And, and so they're, they're, they're pushing these stories on 60 minutes now. And that to me shows that this alien op is really, uh, you know, they're kicking it into high gear. Um, I'll, I'll include the link to that 60 minutes piece, uh, uh, in the, in the notes below. But, uh, what is the upshot of all of this? Well, first of all, I would like to say my, uh, new book, The Insurrectionist, uh, is, which, uh, is going to be coming out in June, barring, uh, unforeseen, uh, difficulties. But the publisher has announced, uh, that, that it should be released in June, so that's something that, uh, I feel comfortable saying here, uh, to y'all as well, but, uh, the, the, a, a large aspect of that book, which is very contemporary, uh, it, it's set in a dystopia that's, that's only slightly removed from the, the hellscape that we now inhabit, and a big, uh, a big aspect of what takes place in this, uh, in this storyline, in this timeline that, that, uh, forms the backdrop for my story is what's, what appears to be a massive alien attack, which kills billions and billions of people in, in, uh, cities across the world. <clears throat> and so I, uh, I have to say, you know, it, it's like, these, this, this whole idea is coalescing, um, my, my fiction, you know, such as it is such, you know, not that it's that heavily read, uh, but, uh, what I have been writing about recently and in writing in this vein, you know, writing, this is a work of fiction, but it's basically a response to all of the, all of the, uh, accursed, uh, nonsense that was the year 2020. This is, uh, you know, this is being talked about as the next op, the next big op, at least from some sources. And again, I've, I've talked before about dark journalist, and I do recommend, uh, you, uh, watch his channel if you're interested in all of this, because, uh, he, he talks about how the, the sort of people that are being interviewed right now uh, on 60 Minutes, and uh, Tucker Carlson has had this guy on, um, who, who's, you know, who, who claims to be this, this outsider, uh, who used to be working on the inside, but, you know, this sort of, <laughs> this whole uh, Mulder kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, Mulder from the X-Files kind of, uh, kind of vibe, um, which, I mean, going back a ways, that's, that's, you know, they, they were really seeding that whole idea uh, of the, the renegade uh, um, insider, the insider who, who knows things that, who wants things to come out uh, and is really on our side. He's, he's not, he's not really with the, the deep state and the, the, you know, the 
high echelon of the alphabet e uh, agencies. He's with the people. Um, that's kind of what they're trying to sell this guy as being. And um, anyway, uh, Dark Journalist has some very interesting things to say about all of this, which he believes it's it's being it's all being um, uh, that 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 all of these these uh, different aspects of this alien threat kind of scenario are, are now being marshaled and uh, uh, particularly by intelligence types uh, with some some um, nefarious purposes in mind and uh, it, that this is going to be the next kind of fear based op that, that just like with 9-11 just like with so many things, including the, the thing that, that was going on over the past year and still continues in some ways to, till now, uh, it's always about fear. It's always about we, uh, we, we've discovered this threat, and this threat is so threatening that we need to get rid of uh, the Constitution. You, you know, the Constitution never, never had provisions for something like this. So... Uh, we, you, we, what we need to do now is uh, we need, you need to, you, little men, little women, uh, all you, all you uh, useless eaters out there, you all need to just go stay in your homes forever and wear masks forever. And we, uh, uh, you need to le let us take control uh, and assume these emergency powers uh, until we tell you that uh, the emergency powers are no longer in effect, which never happens, right? I mean, they did it with 9-11, uh, declared these emergency powers, and th there's still an effect two decades later. You still have to, uh, I mean, you still have to um, uh, get your whole body x-rayed when you walk into a, when you're walking onto a plane, you still have to take off your shoes. You still have to do all these, you know, invasive things ridiculous things uh, 20 years later that that hasn't stopped <clears throat> and so um, so it would seem that this alien op is advancing and that they're trying to what's unprecedented about it is I hate that word unprecedented I hate I hate the fact that I just used it because it's such a oh it's unprecedented this is unprecedented it's one of those words that, that they throw out to say. To, to try to scare you. It's, it's like the, the new normal. It's so unprecedented, and now it's the new normal, and now nothing will ever be the same, and uh, all the rules that you thought you believe that, that, that you thought you could live by, you got to throw them out the window and just listen to the experts who know uh, the, the way to, to live your life from here on in. That's all bullshit, you know. Uh, but anyway, that's, I, I kind of have a little bit of a... Uh, 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 when I hear that word unprecedented, I, I can I more than roll my eyes, but the, the, um, what is, uh, different now is that these alien op types, they're not just going into, you know, it's not just, uh, Jesse Ventura's show on, on the discovery channel. Uh, um, and it's not just on info wars, uh, and, and, you know, more fringy type places. They're, they're, they're showing it on, you know, Tucker Carlson, Fox News. They're showing it on 60 Minutes. They're they're showing it in lots of places uh, that mean that they they're trying to steer this this whole notion into the mainstream, which shows that something is cooking. And I'm I only hope that I stay ahead of the curve. I only hope that <laughs> that Terror House is able to bring bring out my book uh, uh, so that I can look prophetic instead of. Uh, <laughs> which is what, I mean, I am prophetic, but, but if I, <laughs> I will be prophetic if what I'm saying is true, but, uh, you know, if, if all, if something, if, if this all goes down first, then my book will be like, well, yeah, Johnny come lately, that already happened. Um, but I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. So the alien op is advancing. Let me know your thoughts in, you know, wiki. Uh, leave your uh, comments below. Um, you can check out my work at altrightnovelist.com.